Do you want to know how to get rid of all the chrome in your 2021 Tesla Model 3 and also get a cool performance Tesla emblem upgrade inspired by Chief Design Engineer at Tesla, Franz von Holzhausen's custom performance Model 3? Well, watch on. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Nash from Tesla in the Gong. The product that I used to achieve this effect is called the Matte Black Emblem from Abstract Ocean. I do have a link to the same in the description of this video, so do check that out. At the time of making this video, they do also have a matte red as well as a chrome version and Franz's custom performance model 3 had the chrome version on it. So inside the package, you'll have a template to align the letters, the matte black letters themselves and an alcohol wipe. And what you do need to have at hand is a wire or a fishing line as well as a hairdryer. And I'll come to why you do need these two in just a bit. Also grab a chair because it's much easier to work sitting down. All right, guys, let's pick up the template first. I want this to be the position of the letters when I'm finished. And I want it to overlap the existing Tesla logo. If you want to keep the logo, you can always place the letters below the logo, but I'm going to overlap it like so. As you can see, there is a red triangle that has to align with the rear camera. And I want the bottom edge of the Tesla logo to bisect the S of the Tesla emblem. And so I had to remove the Tesla logo. It's not too difficult to be honest. You do need that hairdryer that I mentioned earlier. Use a 45 degree angle to melt the underlying glue and then the logo will come out very easily. Then you can use this wire or a fish line to start from the bottom and slowly remove the logo from the trunk. It would be a wee bit hot, so be careful. Now we can slit the wire underneath the T and keep moving side to side and keep moving up as well to remove or unfasten the Tesla logo. At this stage, I wanted to add a masking tape to define the bottom edge of the Tesla logo T so that I can know the midpoint of the trunk. Halfway through removing the bottom half of the Tesla logo T, I also heated up the top edge and removed that first so that I can work on the two arms of the T and was able to remove that without any problems. In about 10 minutes or so, the Tesla logo was completely removed. Removing the remainder of the glue is not difficult at all. You can heat up the glue a little bit to melt it a little further and then use wet wipes and rubbing alcohol and completely clean it. You can let it dry for a few minutes, and then we're good to go with the template. Now that we're ready, let's pick up the template. Now the template has a sticky surface, so take your time to position that and stick to the rear of your trunk. Use that triangle that I showed earlier to align to the camera, and also use that midpoint from the masking tape to bisect the midpoint of the S. Now you can have the letters as low as possible like in Franz's car, but in my case, I want to have it in the midpoint like this. No, I'm just using a rough marker to make sure that the height from the spoiler is all okay. And then I mildly repositioned the sticker so that I had the emblem exactly in the place that I wanted it to be. A small pro tip, because the template comes folded, that S can be a little finicky, particularly the middle bar of that S can be a little finicky. So take your time with it. And now onto the emblem itself. They come pre-cut and because of the template, you just can't go wrong. All you need to do is match letter for letter and block for block and then you'll have the emblem beautifully set in like so in my case i wanted to get the s out of the way because i thought starting with the midline is best and then i went on to e as you know e is just three long lines 
Now getting them aligned is a little difficult, so do take your time. I did mess up the bottom part of the E, so I hope you don't make that mistake that I made. The next part where I had a wee bit of challenge is the top half of the A. Particularly because I messed up the bottom part of the E, I did take a little bit more time to make sure that I got this all right. And then the T was really straightforward. I gave this all a nice firm press and then I proceeded to remove the template. It is as simple as that. Do remove the template gently though. And once you have it completely off, it looks super duper cool. And then you can remove the masking tape as well. Isn't this easy guys? I'm sure most of you can try this. Doesn't need too much skill. This is the first time I did this and I'm really happy. The next part of the Chrome delete is removing the words dual motor and replacing them with the matte finished version from Abstract Ocean of course. I did buy the performance version of this logo with a red line beneath the words but I thought why not go down that path. I am going to get the acceleration boost very soon and then my long range model 3 will come near par with the acceleration of the performance version and I thought I'll go down that path and I do not regret this at all. I used the masking tape to define the edge of the D, the edge of the R and the M for good measure so that I know where I need to align the words. It's really simple. Then I went ahead and heated the logo and removed each letter at a time. Once it's nice and clean, all you need to do is place the logo and make sure that the D and the R aligned with the masking tape. Very simple indeed. Now if you're wondering what I did to the front trunk logo, well I went a little old school and I bought a matte finish decal for the front logo. You can see that the chrome of the original logo does shine through a little bit giving it an awesome specular effect and I really like that and I left that. Now I bought this from Abstract Ocean as well and I have links to all of these in the description of this video and I also have a discount coupon code for you to use so do check them out. And now for the big reveal. The white on black looks amazing and I'm happy that I bought the Performance Dual Motor logo with a red line giving it a great look. A sub to the channel will be highly appreciated and also click on the like button if you like what I'm doing and do smash that bell icon so that you can get notifications of my videos as soon as they drop. So there you go folks, this is a relatively easy but gorgeous upgrade that you can do to your 2021 Model 3. I have other DIY Model 3 upgrades as videos in my channel so do check out the playlists for the same. If you are in the market for a sexy of your own, an S3X or a Y, kindly consider using my referral code, details are there in the description of this video as well, for 1500 kilometers of free supercharger credits. You have to remember to click on the referral code first before you design your car, so do remember that. A sub to the channel will be highly, highly appreciated. I'll see you guys in another interesting video very soon. Until then, this is Nash from Tesla and the Gong, signing off. Peace.